Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be bottling this red wine. We'll show you a quick and easy way to get this wine from here to here. And we'll also include a few tips on what not to do. So let's get started. This is home winemaking. In this series, we offer tips on how to easily and inexpensively make your own wine at home. Be sure to check out the area below this video for additional information. We'll be using a plastic bottle filler with a spring-loaded tip, along with an auto siphon and some tubing. We're using bottles that require corks. You can also use screw tops. We're using a floor corker. Less expensive handheld models are also available. Anything that touches the wine is carefully washed and rinsed. Once everything is clean, it needs to be sterilized. For that, we're using potassium metabisulfite, or K-meta. The powder is mixed with water to create a sterilizing solution. Use gloves and a mask when handling this solution. Rinse equipment or wipe surfaces to sterilize. The fumes will also sterilize. Place a cup of solution in a closed container with the items you want to sterilize. We do the same thing with the cork. The bottles are rinsed with solution, allowed to dry, and then covered until ready for use. Our goal is to transfer the wine with minimum air exposure. Pouring the wine creates a lot of bubbles, which can ruin the wine. Pumping the wine works better with bottle fillers and large batches. Pressing down on the spring-loaded tip will release the wine. Pulling up will stop the flow. The siphon is used to start the flow out of the aging vessel. Here's how it works. Assemble the siphon, tubing, and spring-loaded tip. Use warm water on the ends of the tubing to make it easier to put together. This is how it should look with the storage vessel elevated above the bottles you're going to fill. Start the flow by pumping once or twice on the auto siphon. Press down on the spring-loaded tip to start the flow into the ball. When the wine reaches the neck of the bottle, lift up to stop the flow. The floor corker has brass irises to squeeze the corks 
before they're inserted into the bottles. Wipe the irises and the pin with sterilizing solution before starting. Place the filled wine bottle underneath the opening, insert a cork, and press down. Once the bottles are filled, allow them to stand upright for a couple of days. We designed labels on a computer and printed them onto copy paper. The labels are attached to the wine bottles using a glue stick. As a final touch, we've used plastic sleeves over the necks. We've shrunk them down with a heat gun, but you can also use a hair dryer or invert them into warm water. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not subscribe?